Hi, this is Ishio, and welcome back to Zell. We just got dropped in this pit, and we are completely stuck. So, yeah. Okay, I guess we need to find out what's going on. There's a hole above me, but the walls are too high for me to climb out. So we got pushed down. I think it was the moon face creature what did it. So we can't do anything. So let's try this door. Actually, is there any... No information on the map. Okay, let's go. I'm stupid. I've been playing this game and I'm like, oh, it's not too scary. So I'm playing this session. I've got the volume turned up a little bit higher. So if I jump, it's because I'm getting sound blasted by the game. So what is this? A golden rat statue stuck to the pedestal. I do have one down here. Looks like something's going to fit there. Yeah, put that there. I'm glad I picked that up earlier. Nice. Let's go in. It's the pit of death. Wow. I can't wait. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. What have we got? There is a lot to take in here. Look at this map. What a mess. So we got a room to the left coming up. One at the end. And then we got whatever's going on here. Some notes. What a dismal underground tunnel. It reeks of mould. But the exit shouldn't be much farther. I can feel a faint breeze. It's probably coming from Nocturne Forest. It feels so good. I love listening to the wind rustle through the fields of wheat. Could I start my life over and go listen to that sound again? Um, maybe if you're lucky. Okay, there should be a door. Okay, let's go in. Okay. It's a symbolic picture of a demon. Something's written in small letters. Be true. Only to your desires. Okay, what about this skull? Um, oh, it flew off. What? No, yellow, 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 yellow. Okay. Good. I was ready for it, somehow. So yeah, we got a skull. I mean, we, we already have a skull in our head, but now we got a spare one. Skulls are neatly lined in a row, like some kind of offering. Okay, so we got a skull. I guess that's good, right? There's a golden rat statue stuck to the pedestal. Can I not take it? No? Okay, keep going. Oh, what the fuck? Red. Attacked by a rat. Oh shit, unlucky. <laughs> that was nice and quick. So looking at the map again, we've got something here and something at the very far end. I guess, shall we just check out the first thing we come to? Yeah, a rat room. Let's have a look. Hello? Oh, another rat! Red, red. Uh oh, did I get it? Yes, lots of rats down here. I guess it kind of makes sense. But that thing was shuffling fast. Okay, keep going. The door is sealed shut. Okay, I guess we'll head back. So, it's this way, isn't it? What's at the end here? Another door. What the hell, cockroach? Red. No, no, no. Red, red. <laughs> oh, shit. Look how fast that thing was going. Okay, I'm kicking all kinds of ass. What? Yeah, you made a hole. Good. Rank B. Pretty slow. So what is this? There's a hole shaped like a rat. I mean... Sure. But I just used up my rat statue. So can I rip one off? Oh no, turn around. Let's have a look at this rat. It's stuck. Is there another one I can take? This one? It's stuck. How about where I first came from? No? Rat statue? Anyone? I'm just kind of scrounging. No. There isn't anything. So somehow I need to get another rat statue. Maybe I can put a skull in there. I don't think it will let me. What about this? This one's stuck. Yeah, this is my one from before. 
Ah, shit, no. Hmm. Oh, can I put the skull there instead, maybe? Uh, yeah, put the skull there. It's just the weight. It doesn't matter whether it's a rat or not. Good. Now I can go to the very far end and I'll place that the rat. Okay, here we go. In here. Yes. Insert, yes. I hear a door open in the distance. Can I take it back? No, it's firmly inserted. Okay, let's leave. So hopefully I can go through... Oh shit, too far. This door. And the door should be open. Yeah, let's go in. Making steady progress now. Skull. What is this? No, it's oozing. It's the kid from the painting from before. Is that yellow? Oh shit, what am I clicking? What am I clicking? 10, 9, 8. Fuck, yellow. Oh shit. No. Ah, oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, I'm sorry. There goes your soul. <laughs> oh man. So, there was a character, we did a dance thing with them, and in their room they had a painting with that character in it. So I'm sorry, I've exercised a lot of people. Oh, the skull is covered in a sticky kind of liquid. Okay, what is this? There's something there. No response though. So this map, we've got a dead end here. So I guess we'll go check out the dead end first. Okay. Rat statue? It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay. Wait, turn around. Stuck. Stuck. I guess we should have a read of the book. Let's have a look. What have we got? The Rat King. I lost everything. My family, my beloved, all of it. Humans are rotting pieces of filth. No way I'd go to heaven with them. I'll make this world squeaky clean. Purging is a rat's job. I'll nibble away every last scrap. We rats will cleanse it. We'll kill, eat and multiply. A march of never-ending rats. An unstoppable swarm. We'll find every two-legged fiend. We'll make them scurry. We won't let them rest. We'll gnaw them to the bone. Every last scrap, leaving neither skeleton nor teeth. Until the world's been purified. Charming. Oh, there's something under the book. Oh, a medal. Okay. It's stuck. It's stuck. I haven't got any rat statues on me anymore. What is this? Oh, creepy rat. What are you? Blue. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. No. He's taunting me. Ah, oh, fuck. Follow it. Follow it. Are you following it? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. What was that at the end? Ah, oh, fuck. Just try this one. Yes. Yes. Right at the very end, it went so fast. Now what's going on? Blast him into space. <laughs> I love the twinkle. Oh, what? Okay. Was that the Rat King? Maybe. Okay, good. Can I not take this skull though? No. And I'm really curious as to what that is. Never mind. Must not be useful. Otherwise, I could pick it up. New area. What is this? A huge hole is in the floor. I can't reach the other side. What is this? A round hole. Insert the rat metal. Yeah, we got it. That's what it's for, I suppose. There we go. Perfect. Can I take it back? It's firmly stuck into the wall. Okay, fine. Keep going. Lovely. There's absolutely nothing here. Let's just walk a little bit. Hello? Anyone around? Something up the top there. Okay. What's above the door? An angel? Maybe? 
There's a painting on the wall. What's it supposed to be? It's kind of a crummy painting. Don't say that, you'll piss it off. Crummy? How rude, oh my god. This is a painting of my beloved Miss Goddess. I spent a lot of time trying to get it to look just right. The hardest part was hanging it up there. Oh, hello. This is the guy. It's the Reaper. It's been a while. I thought I told you to stay in your room. What are you doing all the way down here? In the deepest part of the castle, no less. More importantly, how did you get down here? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. That thing you have there. Is that a rosary? And a holy grail as well. Could that be? Did Miss Goddess give those to you? Did she? I mean, yes. Amazing. So she did. Actually, she told me a little bit about it. I never dreamed you'd receive the blessing of the gods. It seems you no longer have any reason to stay here. Should I bless you as well, then? The gods have seen potential in you. I can't do much more to help. Personally, I'm delighted for you. Because you've gained the will to live. But it's terribly unfortunate that I was born as a reaper. I want to lead you out of here, but my nature as a reaper won't allow me to. Just as humans cannot stop themselves from urinating, I cannot defy my fate as a reaper. I apologise for the crude comparison, though. I'll show you something cool. Okay, he's brought out a scythe. This is a reaper's scythe. Those cut by it are cast into hell. They're an essential part of us reapers, our partners. Well, no. He's fast. I wonder how well my partner will slice today. Why am I showing this to you? Well, in short, this is a threat. Please go back to your room immediately and forget that you were ever here. This is my final piece of advice. If you still insist on proceeding forward, I will cut you. That's just a joke. I won't cut you. <laughs> okay, is he gone? So we've had a bit of a, a warning. He says to go back to our room, but we're kind of in a dead end anyway. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't get back up there. I guess we have no choice but to keep going forward. But we've been caught. He knows that we're out of our room. It's pitch black up ahead, but I can feel a faint breeze. Climb the stairs. Oh, we're out of the castle. Nice. So, okay, we can move. I saw that person sneak away from the window. I saw that. Okay. This way? Cool. Check those windows. Check the windows. Anyone there? No. Oh, this is where we were in the flashback. So, we've been here before. Nocturne Castle lies ahead. Beware of demons. So... Is this the correct way to go? We've escaped the dungeon. But do we really want to go back into the castle? Let's just keep going. But yeah, we did walk along this bit. And we had some flashbacks. We had a friend. I can't remember his name. Was it Gura? Something like that. He was a little dragon boy. But he fell ill and he kind of passed away. And that made our character really depressed. And because he was depressed, he attempted suicide. And because he attempted suicide, it made him a sinner or something. I see that on the island. I see it. Okay. So that's kind of part of why we got taken into the castle. I'm just going to keep walking. Something's going to happen for sure. And here's the bridge. Keep going. 
Things always happen on bridges. Here we go. My, my. You certainly are brave, so my threat had no effect. I can see why Miss Goddess chose you. But I won't hold back. This is truly my final warning. Give up on going home and return to the castle, I beg you. If you take one more step, I'll cast you into hell. I mean, what are my options really? What a good little kid. No, I don't know. We got sliced. I wasn't ready for that. I was just going to read out the guy's line. But no, he just chopped me straight up. Oh man. So, that's not good, is it? So are we dead? Is that the end of the game? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, let's... Is this a sign? What is this? Something's written in white. Genesis Station. Okay. Hello, sir. Um... Who's this guy? Zogzo sliced you up, huh? He always makes such a clean cut. Never leaves a scratch. That's something only a reaper's scythe can do, you know. It's Zamza. I'm the ferryman of this world. I guide lost souls to where they belong. I'm a boring guy, really. We won't know each other for very long, but nice to meet you anyway. Well, just a kid, though. I can't believe Zogzo sent me such a young human. What a horrible thing to make someone do. And here comes the train. Should be here soon. And there it is. It's it's very train. Cool. I guess we're going to have to ride it. So are we dead now? Is this our problem now? Do you like trains? It should take us to our destination. Go ahead. Hop on, boy. Okay. So you can no longer go back. Wow. Is this the train of the underworld? Is that what's happening to us? Okay. So, yeah, okay, we're going to ride this train. But I guess we'll explore it a little bit more in the next episode. This is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.